hi people welcome back to the channel this is alima the bell and if you're new here you're welcome to join the gang here we do a lot of movie conversations movie reviews and i'm sure you're going to find a thing or two that you're going to love about this channel and without wasting time let us jump right into the review of today so today we are going to be talking about strangers strangers is a nigerian movie that talks about the growth of a boy from when he was young you know how we experience life and how we grew into adulthood this boy contracted a disease that would almost take his life when he was young when he was around i think 13 and with a stranger's help you know it would get better and his life would you know progress from there so yeah this movie is inspired by a true life story and it is in like two parts right there is the young are they and there's the older are they but yeah let me just tell you the people it features what i liked what i did not like and you know we can just make this a wrap so yeah um it features people like are they the latif bimbo shin bimbo um akintola nonso dogu um who else judeo kosoka was in there somewhere femi adebayo was in there somewhere yeah and a bunch of other people so yeah that's that's not pretty much the cast it is a large cast but those are the people i can remember from my head i'll probably add some other people's picture you know if i remember their names but yeah that's pretty much it and then for you know the things i liked about this i'm just going to jump right into it because i don't want to waste time right so one of the things i really really liked about this film has to be the younger cast right i and i totally enjoyed it so you know i said that this film is in two parts right there is the younger ade's life story you know battling with his sickness and all of that and there is the older ade who is trying to become a medical doctor live his dreams and all of that so for the younger side of um of the of the story i totally enjoyed it i loved the casting i loved i loved the actors themselves i think they did and there was this like emotiveness that came with it like you could feel the emotion you could connect with it and that was one thing i really enjoyed about watching this film also like the the first part of the film i totally totally enjoyed it um you know i think the setting was also very good it was pretty get, great and yeah that, that's one thing i liked about you know or those are the things that i liked about the movie right the cast the younger cast i'm going to be very particular about that not like i did not like the older cast but we're going to get there so the younger cast they are acting the setting and the story in itself right it was very emotional i did shed a tear to somewhere there but we're not going to get into that but yeah that's pretty much about it and the things that i did not like about this film so i'm going to start with the fact that um so when we met the family that adopted adetola right it was it did appear to us like they were an okay family right they could afford things you know they were pretty they were pretty much living a good life but at some point they started to struggle with his school fees and there was no point where they made us know that okay these people are struggling or you know things had gone bad for them or all of that so yeah I was like, where where exactly do you guys fall? Are you silver spoon or stainless steel spoon or no spoon at all? Like, which one are you? Because I just couldn't place it, right? Another thing that I would say I do not like, guys, I don't know if there's a, a lot of noise in my background because they are shouting here. And this happens every day. But if there is noise, please, I beg you, ignore it. But yeah, another thing that I did not really like would be the fact that they could not keep up with their story somewhat. We know that being born, she had another child after a day, right? When he was, you know, during his sickness and all of that. So we saw that this boy came to Lagos at some point, Ibrahim, right? And then somehow he was just missing in the story again. Like, where is he? You know, we didn't, we could not keep up. I feel like one thing that they struggled with was giving the main character supporting characters right i think they wanted to focus more on the main character that they forgot that you know supporting characters also make the movie you know make sense right so the daughter the family that adopted a day their daughter we saw her at the beginning we saw her when she was teaching a day you know basic english and all of that and then she just disappeared we didn't see her again you know they were not consistent with those characters and i'm like i wanted to see them grow up together or maybe become best friends or whatnot you know let us just know that these people stay even if it's just a phone call we don't need to cast anybody for it really <clears throat> but that's that's just why i thought i mean they probably have better reasons why they did not i don't know but yeah there was that i also could not really connect with the older characters as much 
Now, what I mean by that is, when I did, I I love I did image relative, right? I mean, if you watched my review of um, Ainla, you see how I was praising him. I do love I did image relative, but I feel like it wasn't the perfect person for the role. As much as there was like maybe not resemblance, resemblance, but there was a bit of resemblance between the younger characters that played I did the two young characters and E I did image relative. I really could not feel in the way I felt those younger characters. I think those ones they came and they embodied their role. But for him, I couldn't really feel the connection, right? It was still as you know, emotional as always. It was still this kind of kid that you know who gets sad over the littlest of things and all of that. But I just I just couldn't connect with him as much as I would have loved to. So it made the second part of the story feel a bit too dragged. Even though this movie is actually a slow burn, and for someone who doesn't like movies that are slow, I actually did like it, especially the first part of the film, like the way we're experiencing his progress through his sickness, you know, all, how they were documenting it day after day, month after, not day after day, obviously, but yeah, you know, month after month, years, and all of that. I enjoyed it, right? Like, as much as that was slow, I did enjoy that. But for the other side of the film, I was not, I just was not feeling it. And then this lady that played Ade's girlfriend, I can't remember her name right now. You know, they had met in primary school. I mean, they looked alike, right? The person that played the girl in the primary school and the girl, you know, in uni, they kind of looked alike. They had like the same kind of round face, chubby cheeks and all of that. That was very good. But it was a giving girlfriend. I'm sorry. I was just like, oh please she wasn't giving that girlfriend vibe i was someone to tell you that he's battling with depression and you travel all the way down to his village you have just one minute two minutes talk with him and you're off to lagos back like hello what's going on like that just did not make sense to me sorry but it just didn't make sense to me and yeah i think i liked the person that played ade's um sister the young version the older version i liked their acting too um what else some others like the end of the movie too it felt so bland right i didn't feel this like you know they are married now they have a dog now you know that dog's ready <laughs> i don't know what that. but yeah i wasn't i didn't connect with that part of the film as much but for the younger side of our day it was amazing it was spectacular i loved it i like i felt it and considering the fact that it was a true life story you know it made me even feel it more also another thing was i was expecting that you know at some point they would show us um the persons like the real person that you know the real aditola that inspired the story but maybe i don't know maybe that's not a part of the contract or whatnot but yeah i was just hoping that you know since he was inspired by a true story let's just see like at the end we'll just see like you know um a documentary of the guy or just like a short clip that says oh yeah i went through this i went through that and you know that yeah that's pretty much it and um i think that's everything i want to talk about about this film oh i'm sorry i'm going to give credit to some of the actors being boshing oh my god i loved her i absolutely loved that but i did not like her makeup as much I have to say that because I kept complaining about the makeup, like her skin, the skin was looking fair, but the face was the only thing that they did makeup on, so it wasn't really blending for me. But yeah, I loved her acting in the film, the way she would like roll into tears. Um, uh, what's that? What's his name now? The person that played her father in the film, a little last grandfather. This man is a very popular man, yeah. So I loved his acting. So I mean, I always love his acting time I see him on screen. I loved young Ade, you know, the way he was always like sad and he would be like, oh, I'm not going to die. And he was still like giving his mother reassurance that he wasn't going to die and all of that. You know, I, I liked the kid. I really liked the kid. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think that's everything I want to say about this film. I do think that you should check it out. You probably like it. I feel like a lot of people will be like it because of you know the kind of story that it is you know it is emotive very emotive so yeah what am i going to rate it i'm going to rate it a 6.5 and 6.5 is solely because of the younger version of our day like the like the entire story of the younger version that part did it for me so yeah it's 6.5 should you check it out 
definitely I, if you've seen it i want to know what you think about it in the comment section below do you think it's a good movie did you enjoy it and because it's a beard tv movie i feel like that's one of the reasons why i even went to watch it because I'm, I'm i'm kind of a fan right so yeah you know what made you watch it to the end if you've seen it what was the breaking point for you if you did not like it just let me know in the comment section i want to read from me i want to know what you think about this film and i'm going to see you guys in my next video and if you've not subscribed please do that right now bye guys